Hey guys, this is Mark Graham, and this is Big Balls Marketing. Hey guys, in tonight's podcast, uh, you know, I'm going to talk about online businesses for 2019. Right now, it's December 22nd, uh, about to be December 23rd. Yes, I'm burning the midnight oil. Um, But, you know, I really wanted to make this podcast all about online businesses for 2019 how are you going to make money in business and uh in uh well in the online world in 2019 is it is it more difficult now than it was before blah 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 um and let's just start with that is it more difficult in 2019 is it going to be more difficult than it was in 2009 the answer is yes and no so what do i mean by that um, back in 2009, you could almost throw anything out there and people would bite. Okay. So as the years have gone, gone by, uh, people have become a lot more sophisticated, especially the younger generations that are, that are coming up that know a lot more about, uh, the computer world and the online world even. But with that said, there's still a tremendous amount of opportunity and, and maybe more opportunity nowadays than ever before. And you've got so many courses out there to show people how to generate an income online through tons of different business models. And in this podcast, I'm really going to talk about a couple because you can get out there um, for very little income. I mean, this is one of the things that I always talk about about the Internet. The Internet really is nothing more than a cyber world where the real estate is dirt cheap. And I mean dirt cheap. You can get started uh, in your own business, something that potentially could make you, you know, hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars a month for almost nothing. And so I'm going to talk about some of the some of the business models that you could really get, uh, you know, get a good foothold in and really generate 10k a month okay so one of those things is drop shipping and you hear a lot about um, either like Amazon FBA is fulfillment by Amazon or you hear uh, about somebody starting their own e-commerce store with uh, you know a Shopify store or something along those lines both of those things can be done for you know we're talking about less than a thousand bucks I mean you can start it with almost nothing and get going. Uh, you can get into uh, designing T-shirts and selling T-shirts. You know, using a, a fulfillment uh, uh, organization like uh, Custom Cat, and uh, they will do all the shipping for you. Uh, all you have to do really is is come up with a design for a shirt, and then promote that design out there in the uh, internet world. And uh, when people when people order up. Uh, it goes straight to straight through Custom Cat, and they they handle all the uh, the size issues. The, you know the whole nine yards. They'll they'll fill that order, uh, send it directly to your customer, and you get a cut of the pie there. Um, so there's a lot of different business models very similar to that that you can get out there and you can start designing stuff. Um, and, and obviously with custom cat, it's not just about t-shirts. You can do mugs and coffee cups, and there's all kinds of things that you could do. Um, so, you know, and a lot of people, that's all they do is they sit around and they come up with these, uh, unique slogans or they find out what's, uh, kind of trending out there and they'll, they'll design something based on that. There's a lot of political stuff out there. There's just a ton of things that you can, you can get going, uh, through drop shipping. You, you know, you can go through AliExpress or Alibaba or whatever, or you can find, uh, some other suppliers, uh, around the world and even locally that uh, where you can get online and set up a store and start selling products. You can sell clothes. You can sell uh, products like, you know, pens, uh, cups. I mean, just look around, anything, electronics. Uh, there's just about anything out there that you would want to sell. You can get, uh, you can find a wholesaler and you can uh, tag, uh, team up with them and uh, promote their products and get paid. Uh, which goes to the next deal, uh, affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is still uh, a, a fairly good business model. There's a lot of people still doing affiliate marketing. And basically, that's where you are marketing a manufacturer's product. 
Um, I know a lot of people that have made a lot of money uh, through affiliate marketing. It's not as hot as it used to be because e-commerce has kind of taken over uh, a lot of that uh, that niche in terms of uh, supplying products to, to customers. But there, it's still out there, guys. You don't have to create anything new. You can just uh, become an affiliate uh, for you know a few different organizations and promote their products. Um, so and and still make a lot of money if that's what you're into. If that's what you want to do, uh, you can start an ad agency. A lot of people out there uh, don't understand how to advertise their businesses online. Uh, they don't understand, uh, you know, text ads uh, for for phone texts. Uh, th- they just don't understand a lot of this. And and to to be honest, uh, so much of it is so still so new. Um, you know, most people are focused on their business. They're focused on what they're they're producing, whatever their service is. Uh, you can get out there and you can uh, drum up some more business for people. And I know a lot of people were doing this for gyms and whatnot, but, you know, don't forget there's a lot of professionals out there that need that help, whether they be uh, lawyers or uh, doctors, dentists are a good one. Um, There's just a lot of different businesses out there that you can get a hold of, and that's going to all, a lot of that's going to be local. Uh, You can go out there. There's a ton of local businesses out there that require uh, people to walk through their doors to, um, you know, and get a membership or become a client, become a customer, become a patient, whatever it may be. Chiropractors, you know, it's another good one. Um, and it's always good to, to hit up uh, a lot of those folks because you can start generating some traffic and get ba- and get paid based on the traffic that you generate. And it's just not that hard. Uh, so, you know, a lot of times, you know, you could probably get with somebody like a dentist or, or whatever, and uh, you guys come up with some sort of a of a uh, promotional offer, you know, like uh, veneers at uh, you know twenty five percent off uh, veneers or you know something along those lines, and you're gonna you're gonna find um, that when people walk through that door with uh, with your coupon or uh, you know your uh, your your uh, ad code or whatever it may be your product code um, you know you're going to be able to to generate some income that way because uh, one thing that those those uh, guys like is making money and so if you can get out there and you can make more money for them you know if you can take um, let's say that uh, you can uh, you can get a five thousand dollar a month gig with one of those guys because you're bringing in an extra twenty thousand dollars a month there's not too many people out there that will not do that. Okay, so that's another way to, to generate some, some money. Uh, you can also do the same thing through social media marketing agency. Uh, you can handle uh, a lot of businesses' social media accounts. And uh, once again, you can charge some pretty premium prices for that. And uh, now I've always been involved with the work from home niche. It's just something that I like to do. And one of the reasons why I like to do it so much is because I really enjoy teaching people how to do this stuff. So, you know, for me, I'm always looking at business opportunities. But there's a big problem with every one of those business models that I've been talking about. Okay. And that problem is the training. Uh, You're going to have to get the training. You're going to have to develop some skills. You're going to have to develop some marketing skills, advertising skills, and you can't get those two things mixed up. Advertising and marketing are are two different things. Uh, Advertising is actually a subset of marketing. Marketing entails a lot of different things. Um, You know, it's kind of uh, building your product up, your brand up through storytelling, uh, kind of uh, talking about... um, you know, how, how things happen for you, you know, it's ad copy. You want to learn how to develop some ad copy. You, you also want to learn how to, um, do some basic sales. Okay. Now I know a lot of people are scared of this. Sales today are a lot different than they were five years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, for sure. Um, the hard sell is out. Okay. The hard close is, I mean, there's a lot of people that still do it, but what I'm saying is 
you don't have to be a hard seller, okay? Because people are actually interested in this stuff. Um, and that's really the key is, is once you get the training and you learn how to identify audiences and you can target audiences uh, that are looking for certain types of information and you can provide, you can be a provider of that information, uh, selling becomes very simple. And I would say more today than ever before, probably the key to making some sales and, and closing um, some of your uh, some of those sales is by just being you. Be honest. Be um, you know genuine. You, you don't have to go out there and try and be this um, you know slick you know salesperson type of person, guy, gal, or whatever. All you need to really do is just be you. Um, you know, whenever I make videos, this is one thing that I always talk about is I remember the very first video I ever made, uh, and it's, believe me, it's not online anymore, but I mean, I actually got dressed for it. Uh, it you know, it took me like six hours to make that video, to make the video, not to edit it or anything. That's just to make it. Um, I kept on redoing it and redoing it and redoing it. And uh, today I can make a video and about, uh, you know, I'll just grab my iPhone and I'll start recording and start talking. And then I'll just, you know, I don't even look at it. Once I'm finished with it, I just upload it. And so the reason for that, um, and, and ironically enough, I got to it, at least as much response, if not a lot more. I actually got a lot more from those types of videos than the one where I prepared and, you know, had this script and, and did all these different things, um, you know, to prepare for the video and to make this the perfect video. Uh, there is no such thing. So, uh, you know, being genuine, you know, that comes across. People see that. People understand that. And they like it. They respond to it. Um, you know, it, it's a way for you to get out there and uh, relate to your, to your audience. And one of the things uh, that, you know, you've got to keep in mind is that, um, you know, people are looking to relate to another another person. They, they want to know about your struggles, and they want to know how you overcame some of those struggles. And the reason why is because they have struggles of their own, and they're oftentimes very similar. There's a reason why we come out here and do this stuff online, folks, and, and it's, <laughs> you know, it's pretty universal, to be honest with you. Uh, a lot of people do not like the nine to five. They do not like sitting in traffic. Uh, they do not like spending uh, large amounts of time away from home, away from their family. They would prefer to be able to spend more time with their family. They'd prefer to make more money. Um, one of the things that I always talk about on online versus a, a, a job or, or being an entrepreneur, and, and I don't even like to use that word anymore, but being a business owner, let's say that. Being a business owner versus being an employee. Um, you know, it, when you're an employee, what you are doing essentially is trading your time for money. And there's only 24 hours in a the day. There's only so many hours a day that you can work. And, I, you know, it doesn't really matter what your, your hourly rate is or your monthly salary or whatever that. There is a cap to it. And you very seldom are you going to be able to overcome that cap. I mean, it is what it is. I remember um, many years ago, whenever I first got involved in the plumbing industry, uh, you know, I was making uh, X amount of dollars per hour, and I could get 62 hours a week, you know, and I thought that was the best thing in the world. I could get 62 hours a week in work, and I could do that every week um, because we were, we were pretty busy, and I, I knew that I could uh, get that amount of time out there, and when I did that, it, you know, it was always enough money. And I thought, you know, oh, this is really good. But, you know, I realized pretty early on that trading hours, trading your hours, your time for a paycheck is just not the way to go. And, um, you know, you've got to do something where you can leverage, uh, leverage your time, leverage other people's efforts. Uh, there's a lot of different things to look at. But, guys, the number one thing that you really need to create an online business, to create success in 2019, is the training. And that's one of the things that we're doing here with the Elite Marketing Systems Group. I've been talking about this for a while now, and I've been developing uh, our course. I'm almost finished with our course, guys. 
and I'm very excited about that. I'll be putting that here on the blog, on my blog, uh, EliteMarketingSystems.org, that you can you can get over to. And I will be talking about it on the upcoming podcast and uh, also on my YouTube channel, which is uh, YouTube.com slash Elite Marketing System. And uh, guys, check all those things out. If you want to get some more information, you want to get some good information about starting an online business, about learning how to do that, because here's our goal. Our goal with that training is going to be teaching you how to generate an income. And, uh, and the overall goal is to get you... Uh, earning that income very quickly. And uh, you don't have to spend a ton of money to get started. You're going to have to spend some, but it's not very much. And uh, so, guys, keep a lookout for that uh, as the as the uh, days roll past and, and you uh, continue to, to listen to these podcasts because it, once I get that uh, course guide complete, um, I'm going to be promoting it very hard. I'm going to be marking that very hard, very aggressively. And, uh, and I think a lot of people that are listening to this are really going to enjoy, uh, what, what I've created and, uh, and, you know, just going to be able to show you how to build teams and, and how to, uh, to leverage, uh, the internet, uh, the different tools out there. We're going to go over a lot of that and basically going to be taking you by the hand and showing you step-by-step how all this stuff is created. So guys, uh, with that said, you know, the, the number one thing that you need to do is you need to take action. Take that first step, you know, start investigating some things. Get the training that you need and, uh, you know, keep an eye out for the Elite Marketing Systems training. Our training is going to be free, okay? So that's something that you want to think about. Our training will be free uh, to all team members. And uh, so, guys, we're super excited about that. I hope you're excited, too. And with that said, guys, have a great day. Like I said, today is December 22nd, 2018. Christmas is just around the corner. Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy Hanukkah. Happy whatever it is uh, that you're celebrating this year. Guys, take care. Have a great day. And remember, I'll see you at the top.